In this video, we're going to go over a few more practice problems relating to rounding and significant figures. So um, let's uh, take a look at these sample problems here. You can try these on your own if you're confident. Um, you can pause the video and check the answers after. Or just go straight to the answer key. Here we want to round uh, this number to the nearest hundreds. So this is the ones, the tens, the hundreds over here. So we want to basically get to the nearest hundreds right there um, at that one level there. So we look next door and we can see that um, we are um, 2, which is less than 4. So we're going to round down. So we're going to round down and we're going to get 41, 100, like that. And so if we count the number of six, six things, we have one, two, three, four. Four significant, uh, sorry, not four, that was wrong. These zeros do not have a decimal there. Um, so since they don't have a decimal after it, we actually just have two significant figures because these are trailing zeros. So just two significant figures. So you gotta be careful when you're doing that. Even if you've had lots of, lots of experience, it's really easy to make a mistake. So here we have two significant figures. Uh, here we want to round to the nearest 10,000. So one, tens, hundred, thousands, ten thousands, right there. And so we're going to circle this, look over here, next door there. That is an eight, that's higher than um, five. So we're going to round up. So we're going to round up. We're going to get 37 there instead of the 36, zero, and then zero, zero, zero. So 370,000. How many significant figures do we have? Two. Let's round this one to the nearest hundredth. In other words, two decimal places. So this is the tenth, this is the hundredth. We look next door here, and so that means we're going to round up since it's higher than uh, five. So we're going to round up. And so we're going to get 35.33. There's one, two, three, four significant figures. 4.871, round to the nearest tenth. So one decimal place, that means. So right here, that's our tenth. Let's look next door. There's higher than five there, so we're going to round up, and we're going to get 4.9, and we have one, two, two sig figs. To the nearest hundredth, so two decimal places, so one, two, that's the hundredth there. Look next door, we're rounding down. Round, down, and so we get 62.42, one, two, three, four sig figs. Next question, round this to the nearest tenth. So one decimal place. Let's look next door here. So that's higher than five. So we're going to round up and we get 3.5. And that's one, two, two sig figs. Let's round this to the nearest hundredth. So this is our tenth places, hundredth place. So two sig figs, or two um, decimal places, not sig figs, two decimal places. Um, so I look next door here, and it looks like I round, want to round up. So I'm going to round up, and I'm going to get 22 point. Now when I'm rounding up, that 9 essentially becomes a 10 and has to carry over here. So we add to that 5 there, so 22.60. Um, and so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 significant figures. And remember, this is a trailing 0, but because there's a decimal here, that makes that trailing 0 significant as well. Um, here we have 7.75 to the nearest tenth, which is right here. We look next door, that's a five, and we have an odd number there. So that means we do want to make even. We want to round up to make it even. And so that's going to be 7.8, and there's one, two sig figs. Round 7.85 to the nearest tenth. So we look here, that's our tenth place. Look next door, there's a five there, nothing else. This is already even, so we're going to keep the same. So round down. In other words, keep it the same. So it's going to be um, that's going to be 7.8 two sig figs. Uh, here we have, uh, we want to go to the nearest tenth again. So that's the nearest tenth there. We have a five next door. Normally you keep it at the even number. But because there's more beyond the five, there's zero, one, for example, um, we're going to round up. And so we're going to get 6.7, uh, and that's two sig figs. This number here to two decimal places. So this is our two decimal places here. We look next door, 
it's five. You'd normally keep it at 7.48 if it was just five alone, but because it's 5207, we're going to round up there. And we get 7.49. And there's one, two, three sig figs. Uh, to the closest hundredth, tenth, hundredth. Look next door. We're going to have to round up. Um, and so our nine is going to go up, and that's going to become a ten, which will add to one there. So we're going to get two point two uh, zero, and we're still at the hundredth position over here. So we have that included in there, and that leaves us with three significant figures. And then to the closest tenth, so we have nine, five next door. We want to round this up because we want to go to an even number, um, and so this will go up become a 10 and then add one to the one next to it to the left. So we're gonna get 5.0 because we wanna keep that 10th place there. And so this is going to be uh, two significant figures, one and two. And again, I know this is a trailing zero, but there's a decimal place over here as well. Same idea here, trailing zero, but there's a decimal place there making that, that, that uh, trailing zero significant. And so that there was some practice problems relating to uh, rounding uh, with different parameters given to you. And you have to identify your number of significant figures. The reason we told you the number of significant figures there is because um, uh, you didn't have a calculation to do. In a calculation, you wouldn't have to be told what to round to. You would know the rules. So for example, if we go back to our uh, calculations that we saw earlier, here's a different one. Let's try this one. It's, it's, on, your, it's on this handout. I just uh, did not put on the PDF, and uh, that'll be added there eventually. But let's do this problem anyway. So what is the density of a 53.335 gram metal sample with a volume of uh, 3.75? So we have 53.335 grams. So we know, so we're going to do the try problem here. So density we know is mass over volume. And so density is going to be equal to 53.335 grams divided by the volume. So what was the volume again? Um, 3.75. 3.75 cubic centimeters. And here I don't have to tell you how many decimal places around to. You would know based on the rules. This is the division, so we need to find the fewest number of sig figs, which happens to be three, not one, two, three, four, five. So three sig figs is what it should be rounding to. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this problem in my calculator here. I'm going to get 53.335, divide that by 3.75, and I get this number here, 14. 0.22266667, and then that's going to be grams per cubic centimeters. But don't forget, I have to have three sig figs, so one, two, three over here. So I look next door, that means I'm rounding down to 14.2 grams, so approximately 14.2 grams per cubic centimeter. And so, again, if you have a problem to do, you know what significant figures, what decimal places to round to because of your significant figure rules now. Um, if you have, this was one operation, it was just a straight up division. Uh, if it was multiplication, you'd do the same process, fewest number of sig figs. If it's just a pure addition, you look for the fewest number of um, decimal places. But if you have a mixture of them and a complex chemistry problems, just go for the, uh, the smallest number of sig figs in the problem presented itself. And again, more details will come for that. In the next video, we'll go over this worksheet over here.